What's up everybody, Tindo here, and it's time to go thrifting. And I really don't know what thrift stores we're gonna go to, but I really feel like if I just leave the house, I'm probably gonna run into a thrift store. So guys, check this out. On today's thrifting trip, I'm gonna be a bit of a loner because Patrick's mother is in town. She's come to see her baby boy, and Hannah's working. So, it's just you and me, all right? Just you and me. Like most of my game hunting videos, this one starts with one of the Goodwills closest to my house. And to be honest with you, this particular Goodwill, I'm kind of getting tired of it. I just have not found many great things here over the last month or two. But that's no real good reason to stop going. You gotta just kind of wait these things out. These Goodwills make changes all the time. And one of the changes they've made is they lock all their video games up in the lockbox. Which is not the worst thing. I just... I hate barriers in between me and my video games. I want to touch them. I want to feel them. I want to caress them. I want to open them up and smell the manuals. Is this getting weird for anybody? My girlfriend's sitting beside me looking at me like I'm a crazy person. Okay, back to reality. There are a bunch of World of Warcraft games in the lockbox. Uh, every time I go here, there's more. And this sign is letting you know that today, pink colored tags are half off. So let's see if we can find any pink games. Right off the bat, I found a stack of PSP, what I thought were games, but once I looked at them, realized that all of them are UMD discs, so they're actually all movies for the PSP, but I want that whole collection, and I'm including those movies in the collection, so I'm buying every one of these. I only have like one or two of them right now, so if you frequent my channel, you will be seeing me buy a lot of these in the months to come. There are a lot of PC games here. It almost looks like someone just donated their entire PC collection, but I have not yet really dove into... PC collecting, so I'm going to skip those and go to the back. There's not a lot of gaming related stuff here. I had to really look around quite a bit to even see where it's supposed to be. And it turned out being where this gentleman was standing, and there was nothing there but a couple aftermarket remotes. As you see, Mad Cats, and this Pelican wireless controller. I find this all the time, but it's always missing its receiver, of course. So I've never bought one, but I wouldn't mind trying an aftermarket wireless GameCube controller. You know, because those wave birds are pretty expensive. But I'm definitely not in the market for two Mad Cats aftermarket GameCube controllers. Those things are for baby hands. They're so small. It's kind of amazing, actually. There also was this PlayStation 2 stand for you to set your PlayStation 2 in. And, and it also acts as an expansion bay to plug four controllers into your PlayStation 2. That's cool, but I've already got that exact one, so I don't need it. I always make sure to look at the furniture here. I've bought a couple of my game room shelves here. I'm just waiting for a couple more to show up, but today they did not. I was lucky enough to find where the rest of the good games were hidden in the store. Someone had picked them all up, I guess, and set them on top of this water fountain, and they'd all fallen off. And I got really giddy when I saw this GameCube game, because if you've watched my channel, you know I love finding me some GameCube games at the thrift store, but this one was not in there. I don't know if somebody pocketed it or if they just tossed it on the floor because they realized it didn't have the game in it, but I'm not interested in these two games, but I am going to go ahead and take this PlayStation 3 games. It's pretty cheap. A little bit later, I noticed that there was a brand new set of books out, and it's pretty interesting because there's a couple people here that were resellers. They have their scanners, and they scan the barcodes and see how much they're going for on eBay and Amazon, and if it's above a certain price, they they run off with them and put them up for sale. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys are doing good making money. Your boy's over here keeping everything he buys like a crazy person, like a, a crazy cat lady hoarder person. I took a moment to stop and check everything that I was going to buy, make sure it was all there. And this one actually ended up being sealed. Kind of funny. Someone bought this Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon UMD disc and never watched it. What are you doing? Watch this movie. It's great. All of them but this one ended up being in there. So I am going to leave with a stack of PSP UMD discs. Not bad for first stop of the day. Stack of UMD discs for the PSP, not mad about that at all. There's a really tightly knitted group of Goodwills just south of my house. I think that's where I'm gonna go today. I usually leave the house to go thrifting, not really sure where I'm gonna go, but I started out at the one closest to my house and it was great and I haven't hit some of the ones just south of that much at all recently, so we're gonna go do that today. I'm really happy to find that stack of UMD discs because I haven't owned a PSP very long. And back when I didn't own a PSP, I didn't buy PSP stuff when I found it at the thrift. And I've kind of regretted that because I knew I was gonna buy one. I should have bought the stuff anyways. But now that I own a PSP, I'm gonna buy anything PSP related that I come across. I'm gonna get that complete collection. 
very excited about it. Too bad I didn't find any games there today, but I, I'm going to collect the movies too. They're just, they're kind of nostalgic for me. My little brother owned a PSP when we were much younger, when they first came out, and he loved that thing, and he loved watching movies on it. Uh, I kind of can't wait to take my PSP home and the movies with it and show it to my brother. That'll be pretty fun. He'll, he'll probably be very happy to see it. The next stop, I've only been here once in the last several months, and I really have been trying to make it a point to get back over here. And so today I did, and right off the bat, they had a couple calculators in the lockbox. And if you've watched my channel much at all, you might have seen I've bought several of these recently. I'm trying to get my resale game up, despite my earlier jokes of hoarding. I'm trying to sell a few things just to generate a little bit more income for this channel, because I'm enjoying this a lot but it does cost money to make these videos. It does cost money to buy all these video games. So maybe this calculator will help me out a little bit and get a few of those dineros back. All of the other Goodwills that I went to today were restocking, except for this one. So maybe I just went a little bit too early. Maybe had I come back in a couple hours, there might've been a few more games here, but they really didn't have a lot. Right off the bat, I found a copy of Assassin's Creed. I had to think about it really hard, but I do have this one, so no need for it. But it's strange. There are a lot of copies of Assassin's Creed out there, but it seems like every other time I find one, they're just smashed up or scratched up. I was very happy to find this copy of Counter-Strike, uh, Platinum Hits Edition. Not mad about that at all, and it's only a few bucks. All these copies of Wii Fit. You know, I'm having a bit of a strange moment, because I'm looking at those copies of Wii Fit, and the letters on the spine are green. And somewhere today, I don't think it was this Goodwill, but another one, I saw a copy of Wii Fit, but those letters were blue. It, there was no difference. The rest of it was the same. Just the green letters in the spine were blue. Was it was it a misprint we fit? Or was that the one that packed in the box? I don't know. Weird. I'm having hallucinations maybe. But there didn't end up being much else here. There was a couple boxes of books over here in the corner. I made sure there were no games in them. I don't know if those belonged to somebody or if the employees just hadn't put all of them out yet. But I'm going to leave with these video games and go check the toy section. Everything here is a little bit bare. There's really just not a lot on the toy wall. So I was not really going to check the toy wall out at first. But then I spotted that Spider-Man from afar that you see in this bag. And realized this was a bag of Disney Infinity characters. And I was ecstatic because... Bags full of these show up a lot, but they're usually just the same sets that came in the starter kits, if you will. And so you see a lot of the same ones, but every one of these in here, almost all of them, I don't have them. So I'm definitely buying this bag of Disney Infinity characters. The electronics section was pretty bare in this one too. Like I said, this one wasn't in the middle of restocking. I just, I hit this one at the wrong time, but you never know these things. None of these stores restock at the exact same time. So I'm just going to try to make the best of it and see if there's anything I can't live without, but I'm not seeing anything. So let's go back up front and buy these video games and maybe get our hands on that calculator. After waiting in line for a little while, I had the cashier grab that calculator for me and she was happy to do so. She asked me why I wanted the calculator and I told her math is hard. You ever go thrift shopping and it goes a little too well? Well, that's how my day's going. <laughs> There's too much stuff. So I'm gonna go to at least one more. If it's as good as these last two were, I'm stopping because you can't spend all your money. Just spend most of it. Just keep a little so you can eat something. I'm very excited about this giant bag of Disney Infinity characters. I haven't been buying up as many of these because, well right now Skylanders are like a dollar at the game store. And the Disney Infinity characters, they're all like three dollars a piece. So I only buy the Disney Infinity characters when I find them in bags full, where they're way cheaper than three dollars a piece. I paid twelve dollars for that whole bag, and there's, I don't know, fifteen or twenty of them in there, and I only see like two in the bag I already have. So that's a great deal. I'm very happy to get those, because it's not going to be hard to complete that Disney Infinity collection, because there's maybe only a hundred figures total or something like that and I have I probably have 30 or 40 by now and this is just a month or two in of collecting them so I wholly expect to be able to complete that collection pretty quickly the next stop today is another goodwill that I've kind of been neglecting lately it's funny because all of these goodwills that you'll see today are particularly close to my house yet they're the ones that I've kind of been skipping out on lately I guess it's because for the longest time I visited them so much that I'm kind of disillusioned with them now 
but it is time to go check on these guys and make sure that they're doing all right. And it looks like this Goodwill's doing okay. They've kind of taken to not organizing their games, so I'm kind of having to pick through all of the media section just to make sure there aren't any games tucked away. There's a few Xbox games down here on this bottom shelf. Really just sports titles, and I think there's a Halo down there. And this I would have bought, but it was not in the case, so... I'm just going to buy this sports game so far, unless I find something else. There also ended up being a fresh cart of media ready to go on the shelves. I looked it over pretty hard to make sure there weren't any games on it, and there weren't. It was pretty much just all movies and books. I spotted this N64 controller, I swear, from way across the room. I don't have a red one. I would love to have a red one. You couldn't tell from the looks of it whether or not it was first party or third party, but as soon as I picked it up, I could tell that it was not a first party controller because it was super light. The weight of it was way off and the cord was too thin and the biggest giveaway, of course, the cord had a USB on the end. I can't tell you how often I find Nintendo controllers at the thrift with stickers over the Nintendo emblem. I guess the average Goodwill employee probably isn't going to know much about Nintendo controllers, so I can understand, but they're just asking for me to peel those stickers back so I can see if they're real or not. All right, that one was almost a bust. I didn't leave with nothing, so it's all right. I guess let's tempt fate and go to one more. See if I can go to one more and not spend all the money. The last Goodwill of the day I'm very excited to go to because as of late, this particular Goodwill has not let me down. This is one of the newest Goodwills in town, so this ought to be good. The video game section, as far as I can tell, walking in the door, looks pretty good. This whole bottom shelf is video games, and right off the bat, there's something tucked on top that I don't recognize. I don't know anything about this game, but it's always a good sign to start digging and find games that you're unfamiliar with. Tony Hawk game, <laughs> the random Wii title that I'm absolutely going to buy, because it looks terrible. Uh, I have this one, but of course there's no manual in there. Uh, this game, I couldn't remember if I had it or not, but it's not a rare game. No manual, so keep going. And then a Dynasty Warriors game. That is how you know when a thrift trip is going well. You find a Dynasty Warrior games at the thrift. It didn't have its manual, but I'm not mad about it because this is a game I am absolutely going to play. And it's also one that would have cost somewhere between 10 and $20 at the regular game store. So to pay just a few dollars for it at the thrift, you can't beat that. I'm hoping there's some more jewels like this here in this lineup of games, but I'm quickly running out and I'm not seeing much else that I want. This hockey game I'm just going to buy because it's in great condition. I'm not going to play it, but it's for the collection. Borderlands 2, I had to think really hard about this one because I just bought the first two, but I couldn't remember which of the two of them was the Player's Choice Edition. And then hold on a second, I want you to look at this. Look at that blue title. You guys thought I was crazy. The Wii Fit on the side of that case is blue. Why? Why? What world are we living in that I didn't know that existed? Hold the phone. Why is it blue? Why? Tell me why it's blue. Why is it blue? Why is it blue? Why? Why? <sighs> There's a couple of PlayStation 2 iToy games here I didn't have. I really should have spent more time sitting here trying to figure out why the spine of that was blue. I'm sure it's something simple like... That is the one that was packed in with this peripheral. I don't I don't know. I don't have a clue. But I'm going to have to look that up tonight and then go back tomorrow and get it if I must. Because if you're new to my channel, we've kind of got a thing, me and we fit. We're like an item, if you will. We belong together. That's all I'm saying. That's why I'm obsessing right now over the blue-spined We Fit game. Just like the other Goodwills, this one was restocking. There was not much in the baskets that they've already rolled out because Fridays is the day that most of the Goodwills restock. You never know what time they're going to do it. So people that know this, like myself, they definitely show up on Fridays. And there are even people more hardcore than me that will show up at their favorite Goodwill and sit there all day in one of the chairs in the furniture section as they drag more new stuff out i'm not quite that obsessive i i like to just keep moving and keep on the road but uh to each their own however you thrift is how you thrift yep things are going too good i actually found a dynasty warriors game at the thrift what's going on that really makes me want to keep going but we've got to quit now so let's head back to the game room meet me there we'll talk about everything that i got all right guys we are back in the game room and i think that went really well you know how sometimes you leave the house you go to the thrift store the thrift store bears no fruit and it's terrible and you come home with nothing you shouldn't have even left the house 
That sucks. But you know sometimes how you leave the house and you go to the thrift store and you spend all your money? Well, that's how today went. I bought so much stuff at so few thrift stores that I'm kind of having nightmares about the thrift stores I didn't go to. Maybe I should just pause this video and go to the thrift store and come back and do one even bigger video because there's just so much out there. I'm having nightmares. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. I am having nightmares. I probably missed something great. But we're going to stay here. We're going to go through everything that I got today. I'm pretty excited to show you. Just having a hard time deciding what to start with. Let's start with some of the random stuff. I bought a calculator. <laughs> if you've watched many of my thrifting videos at all, you've probably seen me buy a few of these calculators. I've got a box of them stacking up. I need to put them on eBay, recoup some of this money that I've spent. I, you know, these sell for a pretty little penny. Uh, I've just, I've been a little bit lazy about eBay lately. I only have, we sell clothes to pay for a lot of this and, and to pay for some of our income. And we've got a lot of clothes on eBay right now, but I don't have a lot of electronics on there. I need to get this stuff up there. And when I say make some of this money back, I just mean make more money to go thrifting. Because if I sell this calculator for 50, 60 bucks, I'm going to go buy 50, 60 dollars worth of video games. But I've just been lazy about it. Well, I haven't been lazy about it. I've been out thrift shopping. I've been busy, right? The next thing that I bought was a Minecraft manual. It's pretty awesome. I didn't already have this one. The Redstone Handbook. I already had these two. The Combat Handbook and the Essential Handbook. And these aren't hardback. I thought it was pretty cool that these are hardback. I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye out for the hardback ones now. But I love me some Minecraft stuff. I also bought a Zombie Pikmin to go with my rather large and growing... Minecraft collection. I already had this creeper and this gas. These gas, excuse me. Oh, it just it made a blow up sound. I didn't even know it did that. But the gas, I wish he made noise because the gas sound is creepy. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. Do you guys like Minecraft? There's gotta be some of you out there that do. I love Minecraft. It seems like a kiddie game on the surface, but there's a lot of technicality to it that makes it a really intriguing game. I personally like those old games that I played back in the day, like SimCity, Building Cities, and stuff like that. Comment below, let's talk about Minecraft a little bit, because I've definitely got some Minecraft content coming up on this channel. So look forward to that. Next thing that I bought that I'm very happy about is this giant bag of Disney Infinity characters. Let's uh, rip it open and check out the ones that I've got. I dropped Tarzan, so let's start with him. I think this is Tarzan. If he's not, I don't know who he is. He's got a grass leaf loincloth. It's gotta be Tarzan. Uh, Wizard Mickey, I guess from Fantasia, very cool. Ahsoka, I think I already had this one. Can't remember, we'll have to look. Ant-Man, I don't know if I have him already or not. There's a few in here I have for sure. There's a lot that I don't, because there's two different versions of Captain America, and I don't have this one, so I've got both of them now. Very happy about that. Next, Hulk. Very happy to have that, because I have the Hulk Buster, but no Hulk. I've already got this Luke, which is good, because this one came with a broken lightsaber, so not that mad about it. Aladdin. I love me some Aladdin, so I'm very happy to get that. I've already got this one, so no biggie. Dash, awesome. Didn't see this one in there. That's cool. Oh, look. <laughs> Rip, boys. F's in chat. Elastigirl with no head. That sucks. I mean, it'll still carry out its proper function. The chip in it will still scan, I guess, but she ain't got no head. He says she ain't had no head. Spider-Man. Awesome. I didn't already have Spider-Man. I have the Venom suit Spider-Man, but not this one. So very happy to get that. Put it next to that one. Sweet. Iron Fist. I'm a big fan of Iron Fist. Sweet. Uh, a car from Cars. And then I wish they had their names on the bottom because this is the girl from Frozen. What's her name? Elsa? Comment below. I think it's Elsa, but I, it's, that feels wrong coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Ya boy, Stitch. That's awesome. That might be my new favorite one. Uh, Captain Jack, definitely already had that one. As well as Black Widow. These came in like starter sets for Disney Infinity. So those are really easy to get. I've got like 10 of each. Oh, sweet. I don't know if the rest of the Guardians were in Infinity or not. I don't know if they're figures for the rest of the Guardians. But at any rate, I'm very happy to have Rocket. That's cool. 
Uh, next, I don't remember his name, but he's from Big Hero 6. I love that movie. I'm just pretty terrible with names. Cause like, I can't remember this guy's name either. As soon as I stop recording, I'll think of it. But comment below if you guys know. Also, if any of you know more about Infinity than I do, I see these all the time and I know they're just, I, they're probably just characters in the same way that the other ones are, just without figures. It's probably a chip in the base and you scan it in the game and bring it to life. This one's got Thor on it, but I'm not trying to collect these. I don't need more things to collect. I like the figures, that's enough. So let's move on to the video games. Well, these aren't really video games, but they're for the PlayStation Portable, the PSP. These are all movies. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And I am trying to get the complete PSP collection, so I'm going for the videos as well, for the movies. So we'll start with Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I love that movie growing up. Without a Paddle, I vaguely remember this movie. Uh, I remember some jokes from it that I quote all the time, but I'm starting to slip on what the actual movie was about. Well, I think it's obvious for the cover what the movie's about, but I need to go back and watch that one. House of Flying Daggers. I definitely watched this one growing up at some point, but I don't recall it too much. I might have to rewatch that one. The Incredibles. Classic. Rip Elastigirl, though. F's in chat. Crash. I remember watching this one probably back in high school. There's a lot of people in that movie. And then Pirates of the Caribbean, classic. And then last and certainly not least on the UMD videos, one of my favorite epic movies, Hero with Jet Li. If you haven't watched this one, go watch it. If there's any Jet Li movie in existence that you haven't seen, go watch them. Go watch all of them. Jet Li rocks. I would like to be a member of his dojo. I would leave the Tindo Dojo to join the Jet Li Dojo. Anyways. Let's move on to the video games. I did get one actual PSP video game today. NBA Live 08, very happy about that. And then I got NBA 2002 Inside Drive for the original Xbox. And I was gonna buy it anyways because it was $2.99 and it was half off that, so it was only $1.50. Uh, but I, it caught my eye because it's in such nice shape. It's just there's not a scratch on it. Case is nice and green. It's got that new game smell. I'm just kidding, it doesn't smell like anything. And then Motor Storm for the PS3. This looks pretty awesome too. This wasn't in the game section at the Goodwill. It was, it was laying on the floor in the back and holy crap. All right, this is a first, swear. <laughs> there is not one manual, but two manuals in this game and they're identical. All right, that's a first for sure. I've never had that happen. I wonder how that happened. Probably somewhere in the thrift store. Someone donated two copies. One person left without their manual. Sucka, I got your manual now. Next, this one is a great candidate for our terrible video game series where we play games that look bad but try to actually find some that are good. <laughs> Patrick, you're gonna blow yourself up! <laughs> this is called Jumpstart, Escape from Adventure Island. <laughs> this looks great, it says on the back. Take off on an exciting learning adventure. After an emergency landing, you find yourself stranded on Adventure Island. You'll need all your courage, brain power, and explorer skills to repair your blimp. Will you find a way home? I'm definitely playing that one. Again, it just kind of amazes me how great of condition an old game can be in, because look at this. There's, I mean, it's not gonna translate well on camera, but like this game is just pristine. It's NHL 2K6, it was three bucks. It's got a big fat boy manual in it. I thought for a second maybe it had two manuals in it. It does not, it just, it's got a big one. Winter Sports, The Ultimate Challenge, 2008. This one looks like it wants to be a Olympics ripoff. I'll tell you what though, I've played snowboarding games that are fun. There's a few good ones out there that come to mind, but I've never really played many like winter sports or just plain skiing games that I thought were much fun. But. I don't know, if you know anything about that game, I doubt anybody does, comment below. And then this was intriguing, Counter-Strike, because I don't know a ton about Counter-Strike, but I've got a buddy that plays it, and he's talked about how he's just played it for such a long time. And I guess I never really considered whether or not there were console versions, which there are, but I'm a big fan of Linus Tech Tips, and maybe some of you guys have watched some of their videos too. They test everything they build by playing Counter-Strike on it. So, cool, maybe I'll toss that in. See if, uh, see if gameplay from this looks anything like the modern CS that I have watched them play. 
Dance Factory. I got actually not one, but two PlayStation 2 iToy games. I am in a very, very, very quickly paced race with absolutely nobody to collect the entire PlayStation 2 set. And so I buy even the crappy stuff when it shows up. I won't play these. Well, I won't say never. We are all about the weird here on my channel, so maybe we'll play some of that for lulls one of these days. And then we have a game called Bionic Commando. Please comment below if you know anything about this game. Because it looks kind of generic, to be honest with you. I mean, look at all this. this. Dude's got a grappling hook, I think. I guess that's coming out of his arm. I see that now. <laughs> Dude is swole. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to put this in and try it, I guess. It looks ridiculous, but that was cool. And then last, and certainly not least, I, uh, I can't believe the day has finally come that I bought a Dynasty Warriors game from the Thrift. I have seen one other Dynasty Warrior games at the Thrift in all my searching, and it was one I already had, and it was missing its manual, so I didn't buy it. But this one didn't have its manual. A little bummed about that, but I will actually play this, so I don't feel so bad about buying it without its manual. Um, there are like nine or ten regular titled Dynasty Warriors games, and each one of those numbered titles from two on have four or five different games. So there's like regular Dynasty Warriors, and then there's another title, and then there's Dynasty Warriors Empires. So this is just the Empires for number six. I have regular number six, but I didn't have Empires. So very happy to find that. Oh, I'm very happy with today's haul. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite thing that I bought today was. I'm having a hard time deciding between, well, heck, all of it. This is all good, but the Disney Infinity characters were pretty cool, but I guess that's a close second to Dynasty Warriors. If you've watched much of my channel at all, you know I buy a lot of these Dynasty Warrior games, and it's just a, it's a set I want to get a whole set, complete set of, and put them somewhere on my game room wall and just look at them all side by side. Maybe leave me a comment let me know what your least favorite thing that I bought was. <laughs> Last time I bought a calculator on the channel, somebody just commented, least favorite thing, calculator. I thought that was funny. But, hey, you got to make a few of them bucks back somehow. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for going to the thrift store with me. It was fun. But I need you to do me a favor real quick. I need you to run over to my Twitch page and hit the follow button because we're going to play some of this weird stuff that I bring home on this series. This weird stuff, we're going to stream it on Twitch. And you want to be there for it. You want to get notifications. Also here on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. And please hit that bell notification so that you'll get notifications when I post videos like this. And you can come hang out with me then. You can go thrifting with me then. You can play stupid video games with me then. But until then, guys, peace out.